I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. The dedication of Martin Luther King Jr.'s long-awaited memorial will take place tomorrow. As we all know, his legacy leading the civil rights movement was clearly defined and united people around the world. Uh, but also today, the Occupy Wall Street protesters seem to lack a common goal. I want to see capitalism crumble, but that's not just me. That is, this is a whole lot of people with a whole lot of different perspectives. So we are all in a different place. All in a different place. So what can these protesters on Wall Street and around the world learn from Dr. King's legacy? Deneen Borelli, uh, Project 21 fellow and Fox News contributor joins us this morning. All Good right. morning. Hi, Deneen. Good morning. Is there something that these Occupy Wall Street folks could learn from the legacy of Martin Luther King? Well, finally, there's some good news for us to talk about, and that is the dedication yeah. of Martin Luther yeah. King, the ceremony that's going to take place. It's amazing. And, you know, he was very courageous with his stand for liberty. He gave his life for liberty. And so I think this what he did was from a moral perspective, right versus wrong. But what we're seeing in Wall Street, I think their target is misguided. They're targeting Wall Street. They should be targeting the president's uh, policies that are coming out of Washington that are driving our economy, harming jobs, and look at the regulations coming out of the EPA as well. Those are harming jobs too. Mm -hmm. So their focus should be based on what's, what's going on in Washington and how it's affecting our country. Yes. Not what they're doing right now, which is very disruptive. He was such an amazing leader. I mean, he knew that people were gunning for him, literally, but he was willing to die for equality. Yes. Uh, leadership. Uh, boy, we haven't had a leader like him in a long, long time. Which is really a shame. And, you know, our young people today really need leadership. Uh, in the black communities, we have the flash mobs that are mm -hmm. going on. You know, people need direction. People need guidance. They need mentors. And it's sad that I really can't think of anyone at this particular point who would be a great leader right now for, for all Americans. We've come so far. Obviously, we have a, a black president. But here we are with a 33 percent approval rating for whites. 85% approval rating for blacks. Would Martin Luther King like what he sees today? I mean, I, we don't want to put words in his mouth or his legacy, but would he be proud of what we're seeing? I think he'd be very disappointed with the unemployment that is going on across the country, especially in black communities. And I think he would be disappointed with the big government policies that are taking place in our country that are killing our economy and killing jobs. Mm -hmm. And he would be disappointed in when he sees the Wall Street protests turning violent in any way. Absolutely. It was amazing. As much as they all, you know, as, as he got beat up so many times, literally and figuratively, he would never resort to violence. No, it was peaceful demonstrations. And the message was clear. It was for civil rights. It was a clear yes. message. And that, I think, is the best point, that it was a yes. very clear message and something everyone can get behind. Absolutely. Now, not exactly as much focus. Deneen Borelli, thanks for being here. Thank Appreciate you. It.